We're going to walk you through a way that you can generate some very nice looking finished uh, charts, in this case a pie chart. I'm using example 210 on page uh, 67 where they have looked at Super Bowl uh, snacks and listed in millions uh, the breakdown. So I've already entered them into this Excel spreadsheet. Your version of Excel may look a little different if you have a more current one. This is uh, version 2003, Microsoft Office 2003. So I've entered these numbers here. One of the things, if you know how to calculate percent to get the different divisions of your pie chart, you know that you need to divide each of these by the, the total. So one of the quick ways in Excel to get a total is simply to highlight that particular area and then drag down and, and the bottom of this box will then be where your total will occur. You can drag this down as far as you want to. I usually like to have a little separation between the bottom number and the total so that total is clearly a total. Then you go up to your bar up here and look for this auto sum. This is a capital sigma a symbol and as soon as you click on that it generates your total down here. Next thing to do is just go over here and now start calculating percent and one of the again the nice things about a spreadsheet is is you can do these formulas. The way you enter this formula is you press uh, the equal sign to set up that cell now for a, a formula. I'm going to take this cell next to it so I just go over click on it hit my division sign, right slash, and tell it to then divide by this total. The next thing I'm going to do is copy this particular formula into each of these subsequent cells. In order to do that and prevent this particular cell, C12, from changing, because it will, it'll change relatively to this cell, what we do is we go back up here and take each of the designations for that cell, C12, and we put a uh, dollar sign or currency sign in front of the C and then a current, uh, the currency sign, dollar sign, in front of the 12. And what that's going to do is lock that particular cell so that it will always divide by that particular amount. And you can see I already formatted the cell. It already did the calculation and I'll show you how to format that in just a minute here but uh, you can see it already set it as percent. Now what's nice is you can use your uh, editing keys. I always use control C that copies that cell and then you can go down and highlight the cells you want to now paste that to and the, that key combination is control V and so as soon as I do control V you can see it automatically copies and you'll notice it kept the absolute reference there for that cell and so now we have all of our percentages and we're ready to go. We have uh, we could manually draw a pie chart and fill it in based upon these percentages as I indicated in class and we're ready to go. But uh, since we're in Excel and we want to do it really a uh, real neat uh, way of doing it let's uh, highlight these numbers. These are the ones that we want to enter into a pie chart and we're going to go up here to our chart wizard, click on it, and you can see all kinds of charts show up. And you can play around with these if you want to. Let's pick the, the pie chart, and let's just do a simple one here, and click Next, and there's our pie chart really basically all ready to go. You can see I've got this legend over here. We're going to play around with that here in a, a little bit. But let's go up here first of all to our series and here's our our name. What we want to do now is not just have this legend so we have to look at color and go over here. We really would like to label it uh, pretty clearly around here. So we go to this name here and click on this and this little symbol here is always going to take you back to your your spreadsheet so that you can select whatever you want to. So in this case I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to go over here. Here's the, the names I want to enter. Potato chips all the way down to crack nuts. And then this bar comes up and this is the symbol that you want to click on now to enter that and take you back here. And then go to Next. This data labels 
we want to uh, do the category name and the percentage. You can see those come around there. We want to click on our legend. We really don't need that show legend anymore. And then go to next and then go to finish and lo and behold there's our chart. It overlaps so all we have to do is drag that down and if you want to expand it even more you can drag that there and there it is. So there's our nice looking pie chart, nicely formatted data and we're ready to go.